Cincinnati forces a fumble. Kelsey intercepted. What a turnaround. Final furlong, fallen leaf is sharp in victory. No antics of any kind except speed, and there we go with the antics. There are some folks who are celebrating, oh, no. Oh, no. and others who are saying, you've got to be kidding me. You hate it, but you love it, right? Stanford Steve's oh. here. I went two and three in winners. Just want to point out that one of those winners was Liberty. Uh, they were getting six and a half points, and they won 52 to 10. He tweeted about it. It's one of my favorite winners we've ever given out in the history of the show. Give me Liberty or give me debt. Also, also, I am going to just mention Maryland was the other winner. By the way, that makes them two and O oh against ah, Texas the last two years. There. Two and O. Oh. Got it. If you're in debt, it could be because you took one of these. These are some bad beats. New Mexico favored by 36, hosting Incarnate Word. You know what Incarnate Word's nickname is? Uh, they're the what? Cardinals. There you go. And they're knocking on the door. They're getting 36. Yep. Ball! Oh, get it! Amir oh, King fumbles boy. Brandon McDuffie, a true freshman, his first career touch. And it's responsible for giving you a bad beat with under a minute to go in this game. <laughs> I just you think he knew the significance. I doubt it. And I just first career it, touch. Right, that's what I'm saying. Down. And it's a tutty. Yeah. Look, you can do what you want. Just don't bet on games involving incarnate word. I mean, the Bible's involved. All right, so Louisiana Tech and South Alabama have a total of 53 and a half. 50, sure do. 53 and a half. We're at 50 with a buck and a half to go. Evan Orth, the quarterback yep. of South Alabama. Big third and two here. Coming up. Hut, hut. Need the boys from Ruston who are fixtures in bad beats. Need to go. bow up on D. Oh, there we go. Pick it. Oh. No. No. Can't have any more points, Steve. I mean, not a touchdown anyway. And here comes the old broadcaster jinx. You hate yeah. to hear it. Hate to hear it. Nothing to lose at this point. <laughs> Isn't there? Fourth and two. How about your money, man? <laughs> How about your money? Fourth and two. Wait a Tackle minute. Off. What is this, Danny Etling? Oh, my Lord. They did. That's the longest fourth down run in the last two years in all of college football. <laughs> of course it is. You know what's coming now. Segment's called Bad Beat, Steve. This is where, this is oh, where the longest fourth Lord. down runs in FBS come to die. First and Kawan two. Baker. Wait for it. And White Sox. Jaguars, South Alabama. That's overwhelming. That's what we're going for. That's a, that's a bad one. That's a Four bad beat. Two. PAT was blocked by QB run. <clears throat> now, you guys know the second part is, is even worse. That was, that was pretty bad. Worse. Right beats. Bad beats. Indiana's given 12 and a half to FIU. They're leading by 14. You got some time here in the fourth, but you, you yeah. want to stretch this thing out. Right. Sure do. Peyton Hendershot. Little touchdown. Tutty. Flag. OPI, Steve. God, hasn't this been the new, like, most called thing? Well, you know what? That is that is that's a pick. You know, we're not playing basketball at the Y and you play go back door, so that's accurately called. Yeah. Indiana had settled for a field goal. They're up by 17. The FIU possession is a... Uh, flag fest? There's a lot of flags. Yeah. It was... Ref aided. Got a hold there. I mean, when, you, thing, when things go wrong, Steve, think, a lot of things are, are in play. Yeah, of course. But you think people who take hundreds, you think their most hated color is yellow? Yeah, or green, because you're going to lose it. <laughs> oh, we got, a, we got a PI in the end zone. PI. Yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. 12 and a half. So now it's fourth and four. How many first downs are you going to give them, Hoosiers? Oh, Butch. Right now, then this fourth is and it. Four. Oh, big conversion. They converge. Fourth and fourth. That was it. That could have been it right there, Scott. Could have been it. That's C.J. Wharton first down then. James Morgan will find Maurice Alexander. And IU is leading comfortably, and now they lead by just 10. And people are saying there's a lot of time left, so how is it a bad beat? Well, I'm, I'm gonna, fixing to learn you. You know? Fixing to learn you. What usually happens when we show the onside kick, Scott? Well, we've seen this. A the, the, the couple of seasons oh, ago, this ends up being a touchdown return. He's going to run it back. Nope, they're just going to fall on Cover him. Cover him up. Proper technique there. 
The ensuing drive, though, it's third and five. Remember, we're 12 and a half, so we'll make a field goal if you got Indiana. They're on a five minute, 40 yard drive. Third and five. Third and five here. A lot of things are in play here. Oh, it looks like he's got some room. Oh, oh it's fourth and one. So what do you do? Kick the field goal. Why do people hate kicking field goals anymore? That's a question that many will ponder. Fourth and one, they call a timeout. Tom Allen calls a timeout. Uh, they, gonna, they go for it. Go for so it. So if you've laid the number, that's all you can go for. I Wait, how is it possible to get a first down and not a touchdown? Like, if, you, if you've got the Hoosiers, he's got a hole. Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, my God. And if you, the last thing you want is the first down, because if they don't get the first down, then FIU's running pitchy, pitchy, woo, woo. <laughs> he's serious. <clears throat> Football's back, everybody. Week one. Huh? How'd awesome. you do? How'd you do? Four and one. Right? Right here. Four and one. Four and one. Maryland. Two and one. 